Right. Uh, oh, sorry, it's distracting. Um, right, I think everything is set up now. Um, irritating okay it's just about working but it's just being really fucking slow what's this like offline or just with the internet in this house. There ain't really anything I could do about it though. Mm -hmm. What's V-Stream picking up then? Okay, I might just bung Twitch for now, just to see if maybe that might make things run a little better on YouTube. I, I don't know about the logic of that, but oh well. Sorry guys. Yeah, now it's running all right, I think. No, is that good or okay? I'm colorblind, I can't tell. I think that's good. <laughs> what color are you? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay. We're good, we're all good here. So yeah, I think maybe restream. I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense if it's, you know, it's trying to stream to two places at once, it might go a bit slower or something. Sweet. 
might. Yeah, I think everything's good. Well, currently, I'm talking to myself, so that's fine. <laughs> I think. <laughs> right, time for some actual dev work. Um, so this is a project uh, me and two friends from uni worked on uh, around about this time two years ago the project we created this like sort of co-op platformer game well more like the sort of lego games where you can sort of switch between two characters so we fire a character and this little water guy and you they're sort of like little treacherous environment everybody in the town sort of disappeared and you're trying to find out why and these little spirits sort of appear just to sort of help you out is there uh, so Currently though, I can't demonstrate it to 419 and considering this was two years ago, so with that, now the reason that I've upgraded to 4.19 is on lighting features like volumetric lighting and stuff like that, um, yeah just to make it seem a little bit more presentable and all that kind of thing and I don't know. I just thought I'd try it out and then see if I could fix everything. It's a two year old project, so if this doesn't work out uh, today in me trying to fix everything, I might just have a go at optimizing it again in 4.9 on one of the engine, the older engine versions. Um, I don't know, in the next week or so when I have time to do this again. Um, but yeah. The main thing at first is I'm going to go through and fix up all the broken blueprints, so gameplay, and then I'm the well, fully, but probably a bit less achievable. So this was when we created this project. It was a game art, like we did it on a game art uh, course. So the focus was on making it look pretty, not necessarily running well. We were one of the only uh, groups of students that actually attempted to make a full game. Uh, there was one other group um, that sort of did something similar. They did really well. well. Or not put a lot of thought into it. We could just like chuck a load of stuff into it and then it would basically, because it's mainly just one level, that's very pretty. Um, but if I could release it for free, that would be great. But it'd probably run like shit currently. Yeah on uh, my new laptop at the minute. Yeah, stream quality is being a bit up and down. Mm. Right. Too bad. It's not running too bad. Okay. Um, so I believe in the output log. Do you know? Wait, I've just opened up the engine, so I won't show that. Um, well, tasks that won't take too long. Um, I got. Yeah. So I've got primary fixes, secondary stuff, and then super duper stretch goals, which would probably take loads of work and not sure if I'm going to do yet. So primary stuff is I need to optimize the scene and then add some graphics options for some lower end devices. Uh, fix camera problems. That's another one as well. Um, so the camera in the game, because you're switching between two characters, uh, there's some problems uh, in certain locations where one character is indoors and one is outdoors and the camera switching sometimes isn't 100% reliable sometimes it just doesn't work the way it should um, so sometimes when we show this at our uni degree show when like a kid would play it and then they would just get lost because like their character was outside but the camera was still indoors because that was the last location where it decided to save at for some reason 
so I need to go back and fix that at some stage. Um, fix shiny Walter. Um, yeah, so the little water guy, he's like really shiny at the moment, where like there's a part of the level where like <laughs> the light hits on him. And I don't quite know which light it is, so I have to look into it. But it basically creates like a sort of Michael Bay style super lens flare across the screen. And yeah, I might have to go and fix that because people couldn't see what they were doing. Uh, replace water with forward shaded water or simple unlit material. Yeah, this is one which I wanted to upgrade the engine for because last time we attempted this project, the it didn't have all the forward shaded water, um, like the forward shaded surfaces um, material um, back back in four nine or whatever it was. They didn't have that, at least as far as I'm aware, um, which made water look like shit when I had fog sheets and fog and. Um, you know, I obviously wanted, obviously wanted the water to be translucent, uh, it just didn't look great when I was doing that before, uh, uh so I, yeah, I think next time I do this, right, so, I have a whole bunch of errors, and I think, think Ready, which is like there's some deprecated uh, yeah this is this is all fun excess none fun Jesus Christ right uh. mm. yeah this is the problem with the water it just looks a bit see even with the fog sheets it's still it's not getting lighter where everything else in the scene is getting lighter but this is sort of staying dark Anyway, I went off tangent. But yeah, there's the sort of lighthouse area. Right? And the little fire basically fire and water guy makes his way from like the inside of the house. 